first, how can farmers and food producers help to fight climate change? The plants they grow, the animals they rear, the way they treat the land, they all have an impact on emissions and global warming. The industry wants to be net zero by 2040, which means removing as much carbon from the atmosphere as it produces. And this week, a conference in this region will lay out some of the new techniques and developments to help. Our science correspondent Richard Westcott has been to see some of them in action. It's not your normal farm vehicle. Nitrogen is critical for crop growth. But used too much and it leaches into the water table. This system can tell farmers precisely where nitrogen is needed. By scanning the field and probing the soil, AI technology developed by this team from Manchester Metropolitan University produces a map. The red patches show where the nutrient levels are low. Once the farmer knows which parts are short of nitrogen, this second autonomous robot comes along and sprays those parts. Although, to be clear, we're just using water today. I think farmers are very aware of um, you know, the perfect way that they could farm. And they've also got very little wiggle room in their businesses to do that. So I personally feel I'm, I'm, I'm willing to put, put myself out there and try some of this stuff and be a case study and invite farmers along and let them see what's going on and the more more people who can do that the more confidence is built around farmers making that change in what is a pretty difficult business to run the designers say it's not just about the environment if you can take away those dull dirty jobs that farmers just don't want to do it will really help with the employment shortage that's plaguing agriculture at the moment but last year was a terrible year for deaths in agriculture Working on a farm's always been a dangerous job, but if you can use smaller, lightweight uh, machinery, it can only help. Another system being tested here is this probe. By connecting cheaply to satellites, it gives farmers critical information. So it measures soil moisture and soil temperature. And obviously water is under stress. We want to use the minimum amount of water possible, which is also good for plant health because it'll you know, save against diseases from, uh, you know, rot of the root. Using too much nitrogen, releasing carbon by ploughing, overuse of water, farming can be part of the environmental problem. But by adapting techniques to trap carbon and using technology, farmers know they can also be part of the solution. Richard Westcott, BBC Look East, Cambridge.